And now, some quiet time with Chef Ramsay. In the past, I've sometimes been known to lose my temper. But this time round, things are going to be a lot different. Are you mad? I've had enough now! The competing chefs will not make idiotic mistakes. We're allowing a fried egg to screw the kitchen. And most importantly, I will not scream. Can we have the two-made courses together? I will not swear. I'm fucked. You're fucked. You're fucked. And you're fucked. Oh, come on. Who am I trying to kid here? For the last two years, Chef Ramsay has put aspiring chefs through a trial by fire. Get off! This is painful! Get out! Out! And two careers were launched. Season one winner, Michael, is the executive chef of his restaurant, Tattoo, in Los Angeles. Owning this restaurant's a dream come true, and I owe it all to Hell's Kitchen. Season two winner, Heather, is leading the brigade at her restaurant, Terra Rosa, at the Red Rock Resort and Casino in Las Vegas. I never would have dreamed I'd be working in a place like this. This year, tens of thousands of aspiring chefs. Hell's Kitchen, it's time to wake up! Applied for a shot at their opportunity of a lifetime. Please pick me. Why wouldn't you want to watch me? 12 hopefuls made the final cut. I'm going to go in and kick ass. I know I know my shit. When Chef Ramsay opens those doors, it's on. But only one of them will run a multi-million dollar restaurant in the luxurious Green Valley Ranch Resort. It would change my, my whole life. OK, guys, let's go, yeah? This year, the competition That's just fucking stupid. Find me. is more intense than ever before. Melissa, I'm not an well, idiot. I'm do. a smart girl. She will do what she can to make me look bad. Why are you pushing me? Yeah, we're going to get bitchy. Being Hitler doesn't make yourself a strong leader. <laughs> It's going to be nasty. You need to shut up and listen to me. And bloody. Right, go, go. And Chef Ramsay will put them to the test. Bring it on. In ways they never imagined. Ah. Ah. Some of the chefs will have the experience of their lives. Ah. While others will wish they'd never been born. Ah. Ah. I just want to go home. Ah. Pass it over. He makes me want to pee in my pants because he's scary. Listen to me. You shut the fuck up. He knows what he's doing. knows what he wants his customers to eat. You wouldn't even serve it to a fucking pig. Can someone tell me what that shit is? You should be fucking embarrassed. I'm not going to walk away. It's not acceptable. And when Chef Ramsay pushes one chef too far, you're unbelievably shit. He doesn't know when to shut his mouth. Chef Ramsay is going to have a huge problem. The tables are turned. I'm pissed off. Chef Ramsay needs to know what's in store for him tonight. I'm scared. And someone pays the price. What are you doing? Uh, no, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Maddie. Oh, oh my god. Maddie. Can you help? Don't die on me. Don't die on me now, please. This year's Hell's Kitchen is unlike anything you've ever seen before. Welcome to hell. And now, the saga of Hell's Kitchen continues. You think the chef's as crazy as he sounds? Yep. Emotionally, I'm a nervous wreck. Every chef I've ever trained under has been insane. Now, Chef Ramsay brings it to another level. He's nuts. Oh, you're married? Got babies? Yes. Oh. I got two. I'm definitely here for my wife and my kids to lay a foundation for them for tomorrow. So I'm going to win. Hell's Kitchen has been completely redesigned. But this new crop of chefs arrive with the same hopes and dreams as those who have come before them. I'm from a small town, and things like this don't happen to people like us every day. If I won Hell's Kitchen, I know I would set the world on fire. And this is what I was destined to do. I'm having heart palpitations, I think. Oh, wow. Hell's Kitchen. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jean-Philippe. I'm the maitre d' here at Hell's Kitchen. Gather round. Welcome. I started in 94 working for Chef Ramsay in his first restaurant. 
was young and I wanted to see the world. We were in Dubai, it was very hard. Jean Philippe! <gasps> Cut the crap, will you, yeah? <laughs> Welcome to Hell's Kitchen. Now, stop standing there staring at me. Get in that kitchen and cook me your signature dish. In just a few minutes, these chefs will present their signature dishes to Chef Ramsay. Open! And they know it's not wise to get on his bad side. Hot, very hot. Do we have any bowls over here? OK, play your dishes, yeah? 30 seconds to go. Yes, Chef. Down, hot, hot. Does anybody have white pepper? Your signature dishes tell me a lot about you. This is you on a plate. And um, whose dish is that? It's mine, chef. What is the dish? That is chorizo encrusted pink snapper. Where in the fuck's the snapper? It's underneath. That's the snapper there? Yes, sir. OK. Really seriously eat all that without burning your mouth? What a disappointment. I don't think so. I... Now you want to fucking argue. Back in line. Chef. Sure. I think he looked at me and said that I, this guy is really confident, and I think that intimidated him. What a fucking jerk. Whose is this? Mine, Chef. I'll flirt, I'll manipulate, I'll be able to get what I want out of Chef Ramsay. Can you cook? Of course I can. And what's the dish? Parmesan crusted chicken with a whole wheat spaghetti. And what's with the aperitif? The drink is a raspberry bellini. Take a drink. Okay. There we go. So, what have you done to that? The chicken's dry. Salty, salty, dry. Take your drink back, thank you. Wow. Whose is that? That's mine, Chef. Right, first name. Ra. Explain the dish, please. That's a pan-seared scallops uh -huh. with potato gnocchi. Wow. Um, I'm excited you had time to make gnocchi. I didn't have time to make it. I, it was frozen. You serve me frozen gnocchi. Could have been a mind-blowing dish, that. I like the idea. But the execution sucked. Frozen gnocchi. It was a huge no-no. Uh, it was a big mistake. I just didn't execute my own freaking signature dish well. Back in line. OK. Whose is this? Food is sex. And everybody likes sex and everybody likes food. But I want to make people feel like they just had great sex. Unfortunately, it's raw. Raw fogger. You take that. There you go. That foie gras was goddamn perfect. That is way, way, way too salty, my man. OK, I'll give him. It was a little salty. Back in line. Chef. Whose is this? Mine, Chef. Come forward, please. He makes me want to pee in my pants because he's scary. I feel like I'm just going to pass out. So just tell me what it is on the plate. I call it my contemporary cheese course. Let's start from here and work up there, shall it we? It actually goes the other way. 
it goes the other way. Yes. Oh, so I've got to start from there and work my way down there. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a big difference in terms of what I'm eating, right? Yes. There's a first for everything. OK. Woo! Different. So you're pretty new at this? Yes. Yeah. I can see that. Back in line. I think I'll forever have nightmares about Gordon Ramsay now. But, yeah, he's still kind of hot. Oh, fuck me. Whose is this dish? New chef. My name is Eddie, and I'm five foot two. Born with a kidney disease, you know, stunts your growth. How old are you? 28 years old, chef. 28? Yes, sir. How come I look wrinkled and fucked and you look so angelic? <laughs> I'm a bulldog in a chihuahua's body. What can I say? Explain me the dish. It's Parmesan crusted sea scallops with the vermouth cream sauce. It's not that I don't trust you. I just want somebody else to try this one. I understand, chef. Let's go there. We've got two scallop dishes. Who made this one? That's my chef. Come forward. And what'd you do? I did a uh, scallop terrine with prosciutto and a little bit of vanilla lemon creme. Now, do something for me right now. Taste your competition. What's your experience from that? Uh, I think it was cooked right. Scallops were cooked just right. You sure? And you can't be honest and tell me the truth on that one. I'm not very happy. That is raw. Eddie? Yes, Chef. Let's go. <laughs> what do you think? I think it's a nice dish, but the vanilla sort of ruins it for me. That's the most sensible thing I've heard all day. So you must have an amazing little palette tucked behind there. Both of you made scallops, and they are both way under par. Back in line. Yes, sir. Sure. <sighs> Not good so far. Oh, fuck me. Um, whose dish is that? Whose is this? The pressure becomes more than one contestant can bear. The pressure mounted. I just started feeling weak, like flush from my face. Come down, please. Sorry. Are you all right? Mm, yes, sir. OK, and what's the dish? It's a vanilla crepe with caramelized peaches. And why is the pancake so thick? Fuck me. There's so much alcohol in there. What did you put in there? Peach schnapps. How much did you put in there? Not a lot. Not a lot. I do feel drunk. Back in line. Ah! Oh, dear. Whose is this? My chef. Wow. People always judge me when I walk in a kitchen by my looks. As soon as I get in the kitchen and I do my thing, there's never any questioning usually after that. OK, what is it? It's pepper-crusted steak mm -hmm. and just roasted asparagus. Is this going to be the first dish that I think is somewhat I sure hope so. Uh, because right now I'm having a tough time, you know that? I know. Finally, I've tasted something delicious. Three or four things on a plate, steak cooked perfectly. I am so happy you think so. Thank God for coming this morning. Back in line. Uh, let's do two dishes both together, shall we? Oh, dear. Whose is that? Mine. I'm a short order cook. I haven't been to culinary art school, but I think I have a great chance at winning because I'm open to learning anything. What is it? Chicken fried chicken panay. Let's taste this together, shall we? First name? Tiffany. Tiffany. Talk to me truthfully. How was that? Very peppery, sir. I'm disappointed because the chicken is delicious. And yet it's spoiled by all that pepper. What a shame. What a shame. Tiffany, what is that? Seafood tostada sex, sir. Julia, let's try Tiffany's dish, shall we, yeah? How was that for you? I think it's good. Would you order that in a restaurant? I would. So would I. Mm -hmm. I think the seafood's cooked perfectly. 
Thank you, Chef. Back in line, both of you. Very few of the chefs had impressed Chef Ramsay with their dishes. Now, it's down to the final chef. Oh, fuck me. Whose is this? It's me, Chef. And where's your horse? <laughs> I left him parked outside, Chef. <laughs> I've never met an Asian cowboy. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have worn this outfit. You are one chunky monkey, aren't you? <laughs> yes, Chef. What is it? It's finger food, Chef, so... How big are your fucking fingers? I have big hands. <laughs> this is nice. Just throw all that away. <laughs> your biggest problem is you don't know when to stop. My plate was full, but heck, I would have eaten all the food on the plate. Back in line. Thank you, Chef. <laughs> to be honest with all of you, I'm very disappointed what I've just tasted. I need you to really seriously up your game. The winner of Hell's Kitchen has an opportunity of a lifetime to become the head chef of your very own restaurant. Starting with a quarter of a million dollar salary, plus a share in the profits of a multi-million dollar restaurant at the luxurious Green Valley Ranch Resort in Las Vegas. It doesn't get any better than that. That's a phenomenal prize. I mean, this is an opportunity of a lifetime, and the last thing I want to do is, you know, fuck it up. Now, the blue team will be all men, and the red team will be all women. Oh. These are my sous chefs, Marianne and Scott. Listen to them. One more thing. Hell's Kitchen opens tomorrow. Get back to the dorms. Get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow, you've got a long day ahead of you. Let's go. The teams may be competing against each other, but the men and women will be sharing this living space just upstairs from Hell's Kitchen. Yeah, come on, guys. Let's bring it in for Blue. Go, Blue. It is the most important thing for the Blue team to come together and smack the crap out of the girls. They're doomed. They're doomed. We're not going to beat them. We're going to beat the shit out of them. Women have a way to be able to work together. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Don't start the backstabbing until not after until, tonight. Not until after we eliminate the boys. We all want to win. So if we're not working together as a team, we're all screwed. I'm going to bed. Good night. Good night, guys. Let's go. I threw on my brand new jacket and uh, my shoes for cruise. Hey, let's go, let's go, guys. I ran downstairs with my team. With the first dinner service just hours away, both teams must prepare a menu of 15 items requiring over 300 ingredients. And of course, everything must meet Chef Ramsay's exacting standards. Guys, let's go, double time. I'm gonna go find some paper and we're gonna make a list. All right. I'm trying to build a team up, you know, and we're all, we're all working together. Brad takes the lead in the blue kitchen. Meanwhile, the red team won't give their short order cook the time of day. You need help doing anything. What meals are y'all working on? Nobody is talking. Who knows? I don't know. All I'm trying to do is get people to communicate with me. So I'm just going to keep talking to them until they talk to me. I mean, if somebody can tell me anything. OK, guys, I need you guys to talk to each other. Oh, Lord Jesus. While the red team leaves Julia behind, in the blue kitchen, Aaron is struggling to catch up. Shoot. Can somebody come and help me with my ice cream over here? I'm really stressed right now. I'm pretty scared of everything, actually. Is eggs in this? Yes, it's already in here. You, that's, you can't temper like that. That's not going to work. The guys pitch in to help Aaron as the women display their own version of teamwork. I'll do all the shopping. You work on the crate. Let her do the risotto and be through with it. I just took over because we needed somebody to take over. What are you doing with the risotto? Parboiling it. No, this is not how you do it. This yeah, is not how you we parboil were doing it yesterday. first. Risotto, you don't even add that much liquid to begin with. Joanna got a big old piece of attitude. I just wanted to go up and hit her. If you don't know what you're doing, just ask somebody. I'm gonna kill her. Tonight, the whole kitchen has to be in unison, and I don't know if that's gonna happen. Something is burning. Mm -hmm. Something's burning. Blue team, come over. Uh, ladies, let's go. With the first dinner service only minutes away and hungry customers lining up out front, Chef Ramsay gathers the teams for a pep talk. 
big, big, big night. How are we feeling? Good, Chef. Chef. Julia, how are you feeling? I'm feeling like there is absolutely no communication going on in this kitchen. Is that right, Tiffany? I feel like we have pretty good communication, Chef. Wow. I do agree with Julia, but I'm definitely not going to back up what she's saying. I'm going to appear to be confident, even if I know that we're not ready. With the red team in shambles, Chef Ramsay turns to the blue team for some reassurance. Aaron, how are you feeling? Sorry. <laughs> I can't believe I'm cracking, I'm cracking up right now. <laughs> Keep it together. For God's sake, man. <laughs> I'm a mess, get on. <laughs> Now you're making me feel nervous. I am not going into service with this level of incompetence. You know that. Not too good. Not too good. Stop fucking crying. Stop. Stop. Do you want to go and lie down in the dorm? No, sir. I'm fine. I'm fine, Chef. I apologize. I'm fine. You can do it. Yes, sir. Good man. Now, I want to see some strength tonight. OK. I want to see some form of bond, togetherness. Are we ready? Yes, yes, yes chef. chef. Let's go, yeah? Hey, Jean-Philippe. Oui, Chef. Open the doors to Hell's Kitchen. A table for tonight's reopening is the hottest ticket in Los Angeles. Cheers. <laughs> Can I start with the scallops, please? I'll have the pea risotto. The only question now is whether this new staff can meet the world-class chef's demand for excellence. Bonnie, I need a pastry brush. Right here, babe. Clean. Thank you. Aaron? Yes, sir. You straight? Yeah, I'm OK. Chef, four covers, red kitchen. Four covers, red kitchen, good. OK, red team, you've got the first order. Congratulations. Table 41. One longestine, one spaghetti, two scallops. Entree, two turbot, two venison. Yes, Chef. Thank you. Let's go. What is this for? Risotto. God goes in last, y'all. It's going to make that shit taste better. Right, I right, teach right, these people right this shit every day. OK, right. all right, all right. The shallots I first. hear you. I hear you, Joanna. She's there, like, doing this in my face. And I'm like, uh-uh. Why are we arguing? She's, I know the recipe differently, and she's telling okay, me to change it. But why are we arguing amongst ourselves on a night like tonight? We won't be anymore, Chef. Uh, Come on, guys. Come on. We can do this. Come on. Who cooked these quail's eggs? I did. Touch that there. It's like a plastic silicon implant. Fucking bin them. Get rid of them. You guys, we can't lose it over one starter. We can do this. Is that for your eggs? Yeah, we're fine. You sure? Yeah. Yep. If you okay. could keep chopping apples, that would be awesome. Tiffany, she was like, no, 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 no. You don't cut the eggs. If there's one thing that I know I can do is cook eggs. Gonna burn them eggs again. As Tiffany tries to get the appetizer station under control in the red kitchen, the men are relying on Vinny to get them off to a good start. Vinny, are we ready with the first table? Ready, right Chef. Good, let's go, big boy. We get overcooked. Oh, dear. Vinny, your pasta is like glue. It's paste. He's standing there, and he's yelling at you, and his wrinkles is all, he, looks, he starts to look like a shark hay. Try a little bit harder. And his steam and his emotions are coming out. This is absolute rubbish. Get in the fucking bin. But then he uses a word like rubbish. Vinny, is that really funny? You got to bite your tongue and start to laugh, because use a word that I understand. Can you get a grip and just give me something? Is that possible? Yes, chef. I'm going to fucking lose my rag in a minute. Start again. With no appetizers leaving the blue kitchen, Chef Ramsay looks to the red team for one good egg to accompany the scallop dish. OK, red team, longestine spaghetti scallops. How long? We have to start it over, Chef, because the eggs are fucked. Oh, my god. Come on, Tiffany. A fried egg is stopping this kitchen from cooking. Come on, ladies. I've done been over there three times trying to help with them eggs. I don't understand how I can be needed nowhere, but still nothing is getting done. So it seems to me like I would be needed somewhere. Bonnie. Yes, Chef. I think you should help cooking a quail egg, yes? Yes, Chef. Who needs help doing the eggs? Do you want me to do the eggs? I do, obviously. Yes. I need to get a grip. My hands were just like this. I couldn't concentrate. Fucking grip, Bonnie. I lost it. I broke the fucking yolks. Come on, please. I can't. I, I don't know where to go now. I've, I've had some tough nights in my life, but not over a fucking fried egg. 
one hour into the first dinner service, not a single plate of food has left either kitchen. Can you check on our appetizers? It's been an hour. Absolutely. Thank you. Things are getting ugly in the dining room. Back in the blue kitchen, Vinny is still trying to get out his first appetizer. I need some vegetable stock. There is no more. Three risotto, one spaghetti, two the scallops, yes? I just come here, you. You're putting water in the risotto. Chef, I put water in the risotto. We don't, we don't have any other stock. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, mm, stock is made of water, and vegetables are made of water. No harm, no foul. That's all we have. <laughs> it tastes like Nat's piss. <coughs> Stop it. Look at me now, OK? Get off the section. Brad, hey, get on there. Get your ass on there and stay on there. It, it, it was a relief when Chef Ramsay put me in appetizers because the app station was going down. It was going down big time. And create the seasoning, please, yes? Yes, Chef. Vinny. Yes, Chef. Wash up. With Brad on appetizers, things may be looking up for the blue team. But over in the red kitchen, teamwork continues to be a challenge. Can we not just cook the eggs quickly, Tiffany? This now's on the border of sinking the ship. Just cook your fucking ass off now and get yes, some food chef. out. Yes, Chef. Thank you. Do you want me to do those? No. I don't understand if everybody keeps burning the eggs, why, and breaking them, why okay, I can't do them. Because I'm not going I'll tell you I'm going over there. OK, I'll tell you why. Why are you pushing me? Please don't do this to me now. I'm just under too I much mean, stress. OK, I understand. Okay. I'm trying to help you. OK, thank you. She was freaking out over me making eggs. And she couldn't see it like I was trying to help her. Can you see what I'm faced with? Why are you crying? What's the matter? I just want to help. You want to help? Julia, come here. All I want is some food. I That's understand I that. And all I'm trying to do is help you get food. Okay. They act like I don't like I can't do nothing, and they're not getting nothing produced. When Julia came up and said, you know, started bawling and saying, oh, they won't let me fry an egg, it's like, don't pull out the whole team because you want your two minutes in the spotlight. What is going on? I am trying to help her with her eggs, okay. but she don't want to let me take okay, her, let me just tell you something. There's more yes. arguing going on yes. than there is cooking. You're coming off the section. OK. Melissa, get on the appetizers. You cook the fucking quail egg, and can we just work as a little bit of a team? Yes. 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 Right yes. now, put it to bed and fucking concentrate. Yes, Chef. Yes, yes, sir. While the red team tries to pull itself together, the blue team has served 29 of 50 appetizers and seems to be hitting its stride. Brad, nice the risotto. Yes, Chef. This is so good. Vinny. Yes, Chef. Happy? Doing my best, Chef. Vinny's just peaked in life. Chef. Fucking dishwasher. Aaron. Is the chicken ready now? Yes, sir. Let's go. It's hot, sir. Oh, hallelujah. What? Huh? What's he done to that? Aaron, why is it all black on the bottom? What is all that? I guess that's the maple syrup, sir. Another one, please, yeah? Yes, sir. Yeah? Feeling pretty dang useless, pretty puny today. Haven't been able to do anything right yet. I have to redo the chicken. It's going to be another two minutes. Sir. Yes, sir. Would you mind just wiping the snot off your fucking face before we serve chicken and snot? Yes, sir. The blue kitchen has had a setback. But in the red kitchen, with Julia successfully cooking eggs. OK, so we have a scallop, a pasta. And Melissa taking charge. You do the egg. 17 appetizers have gone out. It's actually really delicious. Melissa may be pushing the appetizers out. This one's perfect. But she's also pushing everyone's buttons. I'm telling you, it's we over have got to get this shit. We have got to get this shit. It doesn't play. matter. It's yeah. over. Yeah. He's going to throw it back at you. If you're not going to listen to the person in charge, when the chef puts them in charge, what's the point? Melissa, I have been cooking the same shit for the last She's eight the only courses. one that's produced a good item, Melissa. Dude, she's telling me my shit is overcooked, and I, it's the only spaghetti that's done. Melissa screwed up my spaghetti. I'm good at what I'm doing, or at least I'm doing a good enough job so that Chef Ramsay isn't throwing shit back in our fucking faces. You want to do it? How many of us? No, I don't want to do it now. Ladies, ladies, can we stop arguing, yeah? 
While it's total chaos in the red kitchen, in the blue kitchen, the retirement home chef seems to be feeling all of his 48 years. Oh, fuck. I'd like to see Aaron get better. Oh, fuck. Get better at cooking. I'm kind of busy right now. I'll be back in five, gentlemen. He just gave up. I would never walk off the line short of being punched in the face. Finish your night. You gone white. Chef, I don't want a quick as me. I don't want a quick as him. I'm hey. I don't want a quick as the guys that did the try so hard. I would be striking the hey, hey. Relax. Relax, relax, relax. With Aaron taking early retirement from the meat station, Josh jumps in and tries to save the day. Two minutes, Eddie. Are you okay for two minutes on that? Yes. Let's Good. do it. Let's do it. Two okay. minutes, guys. Come on, guys. No bigger. Let's do it. Two Push minutes. It. I was born for this. Come on, guys. Unfortunately, I myself walked into the deepest pile of the shit. Josh. Yes, chef. How many portions of chicken are overcooked? One, two, three, four, and that's all the chicken that we have, chef. So we've got no chicken. We have no chicken, anywhere. chef. Oh, God. Right behind. Oh, God. oh, shit. Is one of those plates spaghetti? We're going to be making more spaghetti, guys. Let me please let me do this, because that shit was fucked up, because I'm sitting up here letting you do this shit. We don't have any fucking chicken. We don't have any more Wellingtons. We don't have any fucking lettuce. We haven't served any food. How could we be out of anything? Your tables are now getting up, pissed off, and leaving. Nothing's getting done. Eddie, throw those out. They're going to taste like fucking lighter food. People fucking me up right now. Marianne, are they arguing again? Yes, Chef, they are. Stop! Come here. Shut it down. Forget it. Service. We're shutting it down. The kitchen is closed. We're just pathetic. I honestly don't think any of us deserve the prize at this point. <laughs> After a disappointing performance from both kitchens, Chef Ramsay faces a difficult decision, choosing a winning team. You've got every right to look down, because that was embarrassing. Ladies, I've never seen girls bitch so much. <laughs> All right, I first. hear you. Is going I first. hear you, okay. Joanna. It was just evil and twisted. Hell's bitches. Vinny, 60 minutes without any appetizers. <laughs> it tastes like Nat's piss. <coughs> what have you got to say? I didn't know what you wanted. You didn't want to show me. So what did you want me to do? You two-faced, lazy little fucker. Lazy? All I could think to myself was, please shut up. Who are you talking to? Are you serious? I just couldn't, I couldn't believe it. What do you want me to do? Wipe your ass. Aaron, how you feeling? Feeling a lot better, thank you, chef. Mm -hmm. Let's be honest. There was definitely no winners in Hell's Kitchen tonight. But tonight, the losing team is. Is the red team. Melissa. Yes, Chef. Things started to happen when you got on the appetizers. You are the best of the worst. Tonight, I want you to nominate two of your team for elimination. Now get back to the dorms. Somebody is losing the opportunity of a lifetime, and I'm putting them up on that butcher block. You know, that sucks. So what do you think? I think that everybody knows that I've never worked in a kitchen like this mm -hmm. before. Right. What kind of kitchen do you work in where you have no communication? Mm hmm I really feel like everybody went in that kitchen out for themselves. Well, that's how I feel about the whole situation. Thank you. Thank you. With Julia, I really think she was a team player. But going from the Waffle House to a Gordon Ramsay restaurant is a big jump. So what do you think about tonight? Talk to me. On my behalf, I think only maybe two or three of my dishes were sent back. We just got to second guess our weaker people. Like, for instance, with Julia. I know Julia haven't worked in a fine dining mm -hmm. situation mm -hmm. before. Julia shouldn't be here because she was just kind of clueless. So it's time for her to go. What'd you think about service? What'd you, you know? It fucking I mean, sucked. I know it sucked. I mean, give me a little more here, you know? Huh. 
I mean, I don't want to go home. You're not going home. No. No way. If I was you, I would nominate Julia tonight. Definitely. It has to be Julie. She works at the fucking Waffle House. I mean, come on. Tonight, the men rest easy, knowing that they're safe. Now, the women are about to learn which two of them will be nominated by Melissa for elimination. Melissa, have you made your decision? Yes, Chef. Who's your first nominee and why? My first nominee is Joanna because the way we work together, the way she went about communicating with me. Thank you, Melissa. Second nominee and why? My second nominee is Tiffany. I don't want to go home. You're not going home. No. No, no way. Because of how long the appetizers took to get out. Thank you, Melissa. Tiffany, Joanna, step forward, please. Tiffany, is that the best you can do? No, we don't. I mean, I think I'm capable of more than what was produced tonight. If I could have performed better, of course, but I mean, I respect your decision. Joanna. Yeah, sure. Why should you stay in House Kitchen? I did excellent teamwork. I basically helped my team as much as possible. And originally, when Tiffany was on the starter station, nothing was coming out. This is not an easy decision. I teach these people right this shit every day. OK, right all right, all right. I first. hear you. Who cooked these quail's eggs? I did, Chuck. Just out there. It's like a plastic silicon implant. Fucking bin them. Get rid of them. The person leaving Hale's Kitchen tonight is Tiffany. You've got to go. Take your jacket off. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. I had no idea it was going to be this intense. I don't want to go home. Nobody wants to go home. But if he was choosing people on heart, he absolutely made the right decision tonight. Let me just give you a quick message. One of you is going to run a restaurant. And yet you're all wimping around. And if no one's prepared to work your ass off for it, then you're not going to get it. I'm here to win this competition. It doesn't matter who I've got a fucking bitch over to make me look better. I dodged a bullet tonight. If I have a positive attitude and my body holds up, I'm hoping, I'm hoping for the best. I think I'm lucky to be here right now, to be honest. I, I really hope that I can show Chef Ramsay that I'm not an idiot. And you think you, tonight, have had your butts kicked. You've seen nothing yet. Get some sleep. You're going to need it. Good night. To become a great chef, you need great attention to detail, passion, and a great work ethic. Tiffany worked hard, but that was it. Nothing else.